We're here at five, an all out effort to stop children from becoming victims of predators online because of the sheer number of kids falling prey to people on their phones and computers. Fox 31's Vicente Arena speaking with investigators and a parent about how to keep your kids safe. He joins us here in studio with some answers. Vicente. Jeremy, a big, big problem, and we did get answers, but look at some of the statistics depicting how one type of crime against children has risen. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children says an increase of 323% for online enticement reports. This experience that victims go through and what parents are going through is hard to put into words. We have heard the stories of children becoming victims of online crimes. Years ago, Shauna Fritzler's daughter was one of them after someone posted a partially nude picture of her online and she was terrified. Shocked, absolutely shocked that this had happened. Um, I, I just didn't believe that the kids why would you do that? Why would you send images like that of yourself? Many times children are tricked into meeting dangerous strangers. They'll also send sexually explicit photos of themselves to people wanting to exploit minors. Sergeant Johnny Turnage says the problem is getting worse and is calling attention to it on this safer internet day. These suspects are, are, are preying on victims to hopefully see if they are willing to take the bait and if there's a, they can take images from anywhere else, create a fake profile, the juvenile will think that they're talking to the person that's depicted in the image, and unfortunately that's not them. Turnage says kids sometimes turn to the internet to make friends. It makes people, especially children, more vulnerable. A lot of the, the suspects prey on them. Fritzler now works with the Jeffco DeAngelis Foundation. Among other things, it helps victims of online crimes. Let's not blame them. Let's solidify the relationships because we need them to tell us all of the details. Information that could help keep kids safe. So now the question is, what can parents do to help keep their kids safe? Sergeant Turner says families must be involved with their children online and approve the apps. Take a close look at the apps that they're using and also only use apps that have tight security controls. These are some of the things that local law enforcement agencies say that you can do. And if you have a question, just call your local law enforcement agency and ask them if you think there's something that needs to be reported. Also, the Jeffco DeAngelis Foundation also helping families when they go through something like this. They can walk you through this, guide you through this, and perhaps offer you some ideas on what to do next. We'll post a link to their foundation on our website. I'm Vicente Adonis, Fox 31.